Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite. And I'm going to talk finally about the event items, uh, about the weekly events. And the reason why I'm going to be doing this right now is because I'm finally done with the Spring It On event. I am completely done with it. I don't believe we're going to see any new stuff coming. Uh, so let's kind of like break it down, go through all of these and kind of see what I'm going to choose to do. First thing I'm going to do, though, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself this Super Shredder. If you do not have this Super Shredder yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get it. This is perhaps one of the best weapons in the entire game. Uh, we're going to hope that I get some really good stats. Um, what makes it so great? Well, Sniper Rifle Cluster, hybrid shotgun sniper that fires tight groupings of pellets that deal heavy damage, has a large magazine and fair accuracy at long range. It is a sniping shotgun. It is absolutely amazing. And if you get decent or good or great perks on it, rolls on it, you I guarantee you are going to be using it a lot. So, good luck to me. All right, let me go ahead and get a screenshot of this. Nope. Um, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's hope let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so it's already sold out. <coughs> let me go to my armory and check it out first. And then we're going to come back and talk about all the other uh, weapons. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. 20% weapon stability, 10% damage, 64.7.5 crit damage, 28 crit chance, fire and affliction. How much can I level you up right now? How much can I level you up right now? Oh, yes. We're taking it as far as we can. Unfortunately, that's about as far as we can go with it. Oh. Oh. My. Goodness. Weapon stability. 10% damage. Fire and affliction. Crit damage and crit chance. The crit chance is gorgeous. The crit damage is gorgeous. The damage in the weapon. Okay, so weapon stability. Um, If I remember correctly, I don't think it needs that much weapon stability to begin with. It's okay. It's okay. The fire is absolutely gorgeous. And the affliction is even better. Of course, it doesn't have damage against afflicted targets. But it doesn't matter. Um... It doesn't matter. I mean, it causes affliction. And affliction is going to be damage over time anyway. The, hard, the higher you get it, the better it is. Okay, anyway. Uh, so there we go. I am happy, guys. I am so happy I just got that. I am so, so very happy. So, let's talk again a little bit more about the events and the weekly items. So, for those of you wondering, uh, I sometimes buy the weekly items. But I will tell you that every single time I buy all of the drops of rain... Um, and now I'm starting to buy all of the lightnings in the bottle. The reason for this is because you need these to level up. And you are going to be leveling up a lot of stuff. Um, so I am getting the lightnings in the bottle. Okay. There we go. I'm not getting the Eye of Storms or Storm Shards yet. Uh, because I'm not at that level yet. And also, uh, I do also already have 52 Eye of the Storms. I don't have any storm shards yet, so I might be I might need to start buying some soon. Um, but let's take a look at the weekly stuff. So here, resource fluxes. I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to waste my time. Not waste my time. I'm not going to spend my gold buying uh, epic items. I'm going to focus on the legendary items. So let's jump over to the event side. Um, I am currently sitting at five thousand five hundred and forty. This is not enough to get two heroes. Um, I'm going to have to pick one of these heroes that I really, really, really want. Um, let's start at the very bottom. Okay, so this defender, the sniper, I'm not going to get it. This survivor, yes. Uh, I don't know who we got, but we'll have to see. All right. Um, actually, let's go see who we got. Survivors. New. 
Uh, we got her, didn't we? Personality competitive ability, ability damage bonus. Uh, okay. I mean, that's okay. Um. Oh, well. I kind of would have hoped that it would have been something else. But that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> we got our hero. Ours me a survivor. Uh, we're not going to buy that. We're not going to buy it the copper schematic. Unique items to get. The copper heartbreaker. The copper heartbreaker is not a bad weapon. Uh, it is a sniper rifle. It is considered a sniper rifle. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad as a sniper rifle. I honestly have not seen that many people using it. Um, but then again, you never know. If you roll amazing perks on it, it might be worth getting. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet. At the beginning of the at the beginning of the event, I really, really wanted it, but now I don't see myself using it as much. If I have two thousand left over at the end, I will get it. So, the next thing to think of it is what hero to get. Now, this hero striker AC, I gotta tell you, I am really impressed by him. Um, he's got some really good balanced uh, uh, sets. Uh, I mean. Um, stats here our main t stats uh his bonus is not bad because it is going to help both of your both your constructor uh and it's going to give you the blunt damage weapon and impact by six percent so putting him in the first slot let's say with someone who's going to be using like a blunt weapon it's really going to make a big difference and if also you need to you know level up your constructor or give your constructor a little bit of a buff it does give that tactical squad bonus for the china shop He's good. He's really good. I'm actually kind of impressed by him, and he does have some definite, definite skills there. Um, I don't know if we're going to see him again. I, I think we've seen him around. I think I've seen him around a while. Um, okay. Hero Snuggle Specialist Sarah. She is a skirmisher, and she does have Tail of the Dragon and Crescent Kick and Return of the Dragon, which is really good. She looks really awesome, too. She looks really cute. Uh, personally for me, I do prefer to use my ninja, so I'm not going to be, I don't think I'll be purchasing her. Um, if I did have, how much do I need here? 12.4, 14.4, uh, 15.2. I need 15,000 gold. If I had 15,000 gold and I could purchase all of these guys, I would. And I do think that next time... Um, I think that next time that I, I do this, I am going, the next event, I am going to dedicate myself to getting more gold quicker so that I can purchase them all and show you guys what they can do. Um, but this time, let's continue and see. I'm not going to get her. Uh, Wukong is incredibly, incredibly tempting to get because guess what? He is a mythic, guys. Mythic heroes are going to be the best. He is a berserker. He's got advanced tactics. He's got debilitating shots. He's survivalist, so he is going to get the base health. Um, but then he goes into the war cry leadership and those kind of, of uh, skills, which personally for me are not ones that I really look forward to. Uh, it does help your friends. It does give you the 40% attack speed for ranged weapons, uh, but it only lasts for 10 seconds. So, you know, it's not bad, but it's not really something that I'm looking to get. Um, frag grenade, short fuge, and kneecapper. Again, it's pretty good. Um, if I had the extra, if I had the extra gold, I would get him because he's just so cool looking. I mean, come on. He's so cool looking. Uh, he's got assault damage, which is really good in your first slot. And hold still. Um, oh man, that hold still is pretty good too. Actually, assault damage is awesome. I mean, dropping. I mean, I could drop him in the first slot after my Jonesy. Oh. You know what? I, I might have to get him. I might have to get him because his support bonuses are really, really awesome. Okay, next one. Let's talk about Shamrock, the Shamrock Reclaimer. Um, I am going to tell you guys that uh, if you main, uh, if you main Outlanders, you need him. He is incredible. If you want to use him as your primary, he is going to be awesome too. But if you main Outlanders, his bonus, um, he's got Bear Stare, okay? 
he will make any of your teddy bears fire uh, the beams, the lasers from their eyes. And he's got energize. He's got some of the best bonuses I've seen. Uh, his main stats are awesome too because he does. He is pull. He is full on a reclaimer, and he loves his teddy bears. Um, the the stats he has for teddy bears are absolutely out of this world. They're amazing. Um, he's got berserker on teddy bear. He's got the bear stare. He's got the uh, what is it? He's got the bear with me. He's got the teddy with the extra teddy that he gets the the increases the duration of it. It's amazing. It's amazing. He's got amazing. And he also does have the fork lightning and the voltage. So <clears throat> his shock towers and his teddy. He is he is all about the shock towers and the teddy bears. He drops the shock tower, steps back a little bit, drops the teddy bear, step back a little bit. The shock tower brings in everyone. The teddy bear destroys them, and then he can pick off everyone in the background. He is amazing. He is absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you are maining um, Outlanders, you're going to kind of want him. Which that's why I really want him. Um, right now, I'm kind of debating within Wukong and and, um, and the Reclaimer just because they're both pretty awesome. They're both, both very, very awesome. Uh, I'm, I still have five days to grind as much gold as I can. Hopefully I can grind some more gold out and get myself both of these because I really want to. The Rabbit Raider Jonesy, uh, even though he looks cute. Gogan, thank you so much. Even though he looks cute, you know, um, he is. I don't think he's that much. He's he, I don't think he's that great. Uh, he is a Raider, though. He does have debilitating shots. He's got Shell Shock, Survivalist, Frag Grenade. And then you get into his more specific ones. Perfect engineering applies three stacks of debilitating shots to enemies hit by shockwave. I love to reload. Reload your equipped weapon. Increase run by speed by 30% for three seconds. Critical blast increases shotgun critical hit. And this is where we start seeing what he is. Uh, War cry, kneecapper, and flak vest. He's awesome. Um, he is a very much a kind of like a leveled out one. Uh, he's going to have flak best. He is going to debilitate the enemy. He's got the reload. He's got the war cry. He's not really so very supportive as much as he is very, you know, um, he, he's got some skill. He's got some skill. I don't think that he is really worth it, though. Uh, his adjustable choke and the shotgun things does make him a little bit shotgunny. You know, if, if you do have maybe, let's say, if you have another uh, another soldier who is going to be very, very have the bonuses for shotgun, then yes, I would say, you know, he would be good for that support. Um, but like most people, we most of us, you know, like main ARs and stuff. So you're going to need someone who's going to have that. Uh, plus, you do have other heroes, like we said with Wukong. Uh, Wukong does have the assault damage. So all assault weapons are going to have his. That's going to be a little more useful than, let's say, the adjustable choke, which is with shotguns. You know, I don't really know that many people who really main that many shotguns. But if you do, then he would probably be the better better bet for you instead of Wukong. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Right now, the way that I look, because I'm only at four, I only have 4,840. Uh, if I do get myself to 5,200, then Nova, thank you very much for subscribing. Enjoy your dancing pig. Um, if I get myself to 5,200, which is only 400 more gold, then I probably will get Wukong and the Copper Heartbreaker. Um, AC is really cool, though. He's really cool, but I think I've seen him before. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you can just get a C. Um, heroes, Outlanders. Yeah, there he is. See? Striker AC. So, yeah, so you can actually get him. Uh, he's not one that... Okay, so he's not a special one uh, or a unique, uh, unique hero. You can actually just get him from regular pulls. So... Because he's a regular pull one, I definitely don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go for him. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the ones that are going to be more unique and special, you know, and not as as common. So right now I'm leaning towards Wukong because of that AR. Uh, if for some reason I get myself over six thousand, like two thousand more uh, in the next five days, I'll also go for the Reclaimer, uh, and then the scopper, scopper schematic if i can't get enough for that then i'm definitely just going to go for these two
But don't forget, we run out uh, the, the seasonal gold. It goes bye bye. The daily coins stay around, but the seasonal gold completely goes away. So don't forget that it is going to disappear at the end of the event. So make sure you use it before it disappears. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am happy. I am very, very, very. Oh, you know what this means? Because I got this, it means that I get to. Oh, look at that. Same thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and recycle this one that I actually already had taken to three stars because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get myself lightning in bottles, pure drops of rain, and schematic. Nice. Let's recycle it. Bye bye. And we are going to upgrade this one a little more. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we? Oh, we can! Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Evolved to Malachite. Dude. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Uh, I now have a Malachite Shredder. Now all I need to do is get it to level 25, uh, which means I need to work a little hard here because I need to get myself. How much is this going to be like 20? Yeah. Yeah. I need to get it to fire attribute. I would get rid of a couple things here really quick just to do it, uh, but I'd rather just go in through into a couple of missions and get it done that way. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with this one, guys. Fire, affliction, crit damage, crit chance, damage and weapon stability. Again, I don't think the weapon stability is that important in this one, but who cares? I'm happy. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been... Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. This has been Fortnite talking about the weekly events, talking about the events, what I recommend you guys to get in general at the end of this event. I'm going to be grinding out as much seasonal gold as I can, hopefully enough to get myself those two heroes. If not, I will be getting probably Wukong because of his AR uh, buff uh, to other uh, other heroes. Um, and I'll probably get the Heartbreaker because you never know. Maybe also. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. And um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.